So we are back again to fighting the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. This is part two. This is actually chapter 10 in the game, so this is not the one, I think that was chapter 4, where you fought them for the first time. So, just in case you're in the wrong chapter, right, this is the second time you're fighting them. Uh, this time, all at the same time. I think you fight three of them at the same time first, and then the main boss comes out later. So this fight is quite challenging for someone who uses a great sword, especially one with a very slow swing, because three against one, they're actually kicking my ass. But I decided I would focus my effort on the guy with a spear. And uh, try my luck with that. There we go, we got him down. Two more to go. And this one over here, the cat one, she's very fast and quite annoying. And I didn't really watch YouTube video guys on how to defeat these guys, so I'm literally just winging it. This is actually my, I think, fourth attempt at trying to kill them. Again, because... I'm using a great sword, it's a very large sword, it swings really slow. Uh, so in the first few attempts I try to kill them, I got cornered in some corner and got stunlocked when all three of them just went after me all at the same time. So at this point I haven't gotten any practice fighting the main boss himself, the eldest black rabbit. But I was committed to killing the third brotherhood there, so I'm just focusing on him and just ignoring the boss. And so you'll see throughout the fight, I like didn't really know how to dodge or block the boss's fight. I basically just ate most of his attacks. Almost like 90% of it, I think. And so this battle maniac dude is quite annoying. And that's the more annoying part, is when I try to pull him with my legion arm, he gets away. And worse, he too has the same legion arm, and sometimes he pulls me towards him. That was by sheer luck that I was behind that column when the boss did that attack. As you can see, I had no idea how to block these guys' moves, so whoa. Almost got myself killed there. Just used up most of my heals there. You know, I still didn't really know the pattern of how to fight this guy, so... Just winging it. This fight was actually more challenging than I thought it would be. <laughs> I didn't really have a hard time the first time I fought them. Maybe I should have studied the fight um, before going in here, right? You know, I figured I'd wing it if I die way too many times. I'll go study some YouTube videos on how to defeat them, but... Hey, got lucky on my fourth attempt. Managed to, uh, you know, win against these guys. That was a lucky hit. Ooh, ouchie. Did not know how to block or dodge that. Alright, so this guy's almost dead. I pulled him, but he steps away. I hate that. I am just trying to get him killed. So by sheer luck, I got a new fuel cell. So I will definitely need that to fight the last guy here, the main boss. So I took this opportunity to apply some fire on my weapon. At this point, I have no idea how to fight this main boss, so I'm literally just winging it and eating in the face everything he throws at me. As you can see, not blocking, <laughs> not even dodging well, just eating everything. But, you know, I have to try to play super aggressive and uh, just went straight for him. Whether I win or lose, I figured, hey, give this a try. Oh, got a new fuel cell for being aggressive. So that's the thing with this game is it rewards you for being aggressive. So had I played defensively, I probably would have lost this fight. But because I kept swinging at the boss, he went down. Eventually, right? There we go. That was the kill swing. So, there you go, guys. You can defeat these guys with uh, great swords. I, I ended up using two great swords for this fight because my first one broke, my main one broke. And I had to use my secondary one. Anyway, good luck with your fight, guys. Take care. Bye.